Hello people, this is Eric Cobra and this is Let's Play Dark Souls 2 Blind. Last time we found the Gimp door and fought some things and then we found a new area of the King's Passage. Now we shall explore that area. Also it seems like it's a boss fight ahead. It's really the only fog gates but uh, this, is a, this has an item. Oh it is! <coughs> a luring skull. Oh, that even is a skull. Go figure. Neat. Is that snow? Oh! Oh, wait! Aha! Oh, Jesus! Fucking happens! Well, I guess I shouldn't be surprised. I've been suspicious of those statues for god knows how long. So I guess they would be coming for me at some point. Okay. Okay. Right. Right, so look for the red eyes. So I can ambush them. These all get combating and stuff. I get a time nice lab. Okay. Uh, not sure why the last guy went back here. But he did. He's not caring about me right now, so I'll just pick this up in the meantime. A life jet. Okay. All right, Darth Maul, simmer down. Petrified something. Oh! I almost missed that. Soul of a Proud Knight and Twinkling Titan Knight. Yes, I need that. I need that to upgrade my staff. Is this going to be a boss? Uh, I should probably have had some more spells. Probably is. That's what it is we're up against. Looking glass night. Hello. Whoa. Okay. He has a spell reflecting shield. Noted. Oh, that's bad. Spell reflecting shield, huh? That's new! That's definitely new. Oh, bad timing on my part. Ow. This can block his attacks. So it's a question of timing to make sure he's not blocking. I'll do that. Whoa, that's different. Sti oh! Oh shit. He, he spawns AIDS. He has AIDS. That sounds incredibly wrong. I mean, he has little helpers. He has assistance. He's got back off. 
Whatever. Well, These were more susceptible to them than the guys I usually have to deal with. That sucks. <clears throat> you know, the looking glass knights are kind of hilariously weak if you get to the wild and still the statue for them. This guy, whoever, he's ready to fuck you 24 7. So, why that if I want to use it for the purpose of hitting him? No. From the so-far vortex, I think that might be an area of effect attack if it's what I think it is. So that might be good if he's bringing out the other guy. Hey, that was a heavy blow. You really love running up to me and stabbing me, don't you? Hmm. Huh. That was not nearly as effective as I hoped it was. But swish and blow, swish and blow. Ooh. Not a perfect block, no. But you know. Figuring it out. Use the small shots for the small fire, time the big shots on the big guy. Right, I can do that. Alright. Let's try this. I brought another area effect thing in, seeing if that works better on the big guy. First souls. Not like I got a ton of them, but you know, still. This song and dance routine, we figured out. Come on. Ow! Good 
shot. I actually thought I would be a bit more vulnerable. Oh. I have the effect I hope for. That reads a bit longer than I thought it would now. Ow. You bastard and your stupid turban helm. Okay, I realize I made a minor mistake in the recording here, where I recorded the part I didn't want to record and didn't record the boss fight. Fortunately, I didn't defeat him, and nothing new really happened, except I got really annoyed by some of the shadows of someone, which I can only term as flanking specialists. You stupid sword. mentioned flanking specialists, these guys have become the bane of my existence in this battle. Why? Because they exist solely to try to, as you might guess, flank you, forcing me to either pay attention to them or this guy instead of both, which would be rather necessary when the guy keeps doing stuff like shooting, homing lightning lances at me. You, you, you think I want to know when that's happening? Also, I got way worse at dodging those. Huh, well, that's one way to dodge, I suppose. Damn it. That's uh, trying to get a bit greedy. Oh, oh, oh. Toasted sorcerer. Ugh. Do something else. Damn, you can't roll out of the way of that. You have to roll away backwards. <laughs> <laughs> 